your crazy ass and I never left. Ouch, my ankle. What's poppin' T squad? Did you miss us? Did you? <laughs> so what's poppin' y'all? We are gonna do something a little different today and I just randomly had this idea and Keisha was like, yeah, let's do that, that's it. Let's do it. All right, so we are doing, put up your four. We're doing eight random facts about us. Four and four. So let's get right into it. These are just weird random things about us. So don't judge us guys. Disclaimer, we're weird. Everyone's weird though. We're just putting it out there for the world to judge. So don't judge us. Or if you're gonna judge us, be nice, that's all. Be nice. All right, um, let me see. You wanna go first? No. Nope. All right, I will go first. So my first fact, a random weird fact about Trey, I'm extremely double jointed, guys. Look. Ugh. And I could like push past that if I wanted to. I think I'm I'm past the point of being double jointed. I'm like my joints are hyper extensive. And when I used to play basketball, I would be like running down the court, and sometimes my knee would like go the wrong way because I'm so like double jointed. So it's like a gift and a curse. It makes me flexible and able to do stuff athletically, but it also used to mess me up and hurt me. So number one, what's yours? Don't. Sorry. My weird, my, well my first one is that I burp really loud. Like obviously I can conceal <laughs> it, but when I'm free and just whatever, you know, I'll let it out. But my mom was saying how my aunt does it too, so I don't know who it comes from, but yeah. Blame it on the jeans. Can let out some really loud. It's better than it's better than the next type of loud gas. Yeah. A lie? Yeah. It's better than farting for sure. All right, my next random fact, guys, and this is a real nasty one to some of you, but it's me, all right? So I have some extremely, extremely crooked toes. Let me so show you So put your foot on the ground, and then I'll film You're it. You're gonna film it? Yeah. Should we get some good light? Ew! <laughs> Ew. Look at that, look at the next foot. Where's mm -hmm. the next foot? So it's obviously, yo, so guys, this one basically is almost going under. Yeah, so my toes have always been like that. What well, kind of got worse, like, I don't think when I was a baby they were like that, but throughout my childhood, it steadily got to that point, and it's been like that for the last, like, I don't know, since I was a teenager. But that definitely runs in my family too, so I'm blaming it on the genes 100%. My aunt actually had it so bad, she had to get it, like, surgically fixed. But I don't think mine's gonna get any worse. Just... Hopefully not. I just hope my kids don't get them up <laughs> Yo, I can't lie, that's the ugliest thing about me. <laughs> I know some of you guys are gonna look at me different after that, but whatever. It is what it is. What else? Yo, I'd rather have like a handsome face and have like some ugly toes. Like, who sees my feet? No one sees my feet. I'm always wearing socks. I never True. have a guest over and I'm like barefoot. <laughs> that's why. So my second weird, well not a weird fact, my next second random fact is that I'm way faster than Trey, but that's kind of obvious. Cause, How's it know? obvious? How's it obvious? I'm like 6'2", you're like what, 5'1"? Yeah, one? but taller is never, taller is taller almost you? never faster. No? I'm 5'5". Five five. You would naturally think though, longer legs. When you you're taller, you have a lot strides. more body to move. When you're short and quick. I don't know about that logic, but yo, she's fast as hell. People say longer legs, whatever, but I'm faster than him. I used to do track and field in elementary, so. Used to be fast, relay team, sprint, whatever. For now though, I'm training. I'm gonna beat you. Never gonna beat me. <laughs> all right, so my next one is about my hair. All right, so you guys have probably noticed this. I've seen a few comments, but just to put it out there fully, my beard naturally grows a different color than my hair. So my hair is like a natural, like dark brown, like almost like black, like dark, dark brown. And my beard grows red. No, I don't dye it this way. This like everyone always asks me that. Oh, you dye your beard, this and that? Nah. Well, I have before, but I've only dyed it to make Darker. it match my yeah. hair. Yeah. All right. So the next fact about me is, I was an extreme tomboy up until I was about 19, I think. So I used to like full out like baggy pants, baggy shirts. Like I used to hate wearing dresses. I would almost never want to like do any girly things. I hated Barbies. I never played with girly toys whatsoever. Um, and then eventually, you know, I decided it was time to grow up and 
you know, cut the foolishness, so. I kind of take a little bit of credit for that because I started to break no, the ice. No, no. I started to break the ice a little bit. Give me some credit. Just no, because when I was in high school, I started wearing weaves and I started wearing tighter jeans, but when I fully stopped was like around 19, so. Okay, but I already after had I met you, half started of it there. Doing, when we started dating, I started to, Okay, I don't know if it's me, but us being together, you started to transition and become more and more of like a girly Before girl. I met you, I was already transitioning. All right, I can't take a lot of credit. <laughs> All right, so my last random fact, guys. Um, this one bothers me so much. I've never left North America. So I've been all over North America, which is a good thing. Like, you know, I'm happy that I've at least traveled. I've been all over Canada, I think to every province. I've been all over the States, hit pretty much almost every state, or at least a vast majority of them. Uh, but I never left the continent, guys. I still can't believe we haven't gone on a vacation. Yo, we are loafing to the fullest. Stuff. Like, how have we never took a trip? We've taken lots of trips, but we've never, like, We've never like gone to another sunny continent. Sunny beach, no, kind like, of thing. So yo, I know when I first do it, which hopefully and we're we're aiming towards is going to be this year, 2016, which will take you guys with us when we go. But I know after I go that first time, out it's going to be like America, an addiction. It's going to be like yo, I have to go, yep. I have to go, and I'm going to do it over and over and over. I haven't so. been since I was like seven, so yeah, we're going to go to you. we're going to go to your. Probably Keisha's roots first. Probably <clears> Barbados <throat> or Jamaica. You're not Jamaican, but to the, the islands first. Probably is our first getaway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll take you guys with us when we go, T-Squad. Y'all gonna come. Yeah. And my last fact about me is that I believe in my past life I was some kind of like, I don't know, operating room surgeon or nurse. Like, it's weird, but like basically, from when I was young, there used to be this show on TLC called um, Life in the ER. And they would show like open body, like, um, surgeries and stuff and like show them like fixing stuff like inside like people's chest cavities and stomach and I would just sit there like eating my snacks just watching and my mom used Hold to on, be you like eat while you're watching it I would eat I would do whatever and my mom always used to be like Keisha what the hell are you watching this bloody thing for <laughs> change the channel and I'm like what like I never Real thought simple. nothing of it and then like Whenever like he had like a couple cuts or like glass yeah. stuck in his hand I would be like oh come let me see and I would mm -hmm. like I'm like, this is gonna hurt. Are you gonna be okay? And he's like, yeah. And I would be like, digging up his hand. Like, <laughs> Yo, I can you know, attest so. to that. I've had a couple like, pretty relatively serious cuts and stuff. And like, I don't even have to end up going to the clinic or to the hospital. You do the cleaning. You get whatever is out in there. You, mm -hmm. you bandage it. She's like a full out. My personal nurse. She's my nurse. So. You my nurse. Baby? Maybe one day I'll go and study it just for the fun of it and just to be like a, you know emergency person for my family but nothing too serious we'll see but yeah i definitely agree that was you in a past life because like no one's naturally that good at something i mean you could be but if you believe in that past life stuff then i don't know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Anyways guys, do you guys look at us differently now? Like, are you like, yo, Trey and Keisha are actually like weird ass people. Trey has the ugliest toes. Keisha burps. Like, yeah, we're human, y'all. We got flaws. Oh, you on too, see? <laughs> <laughs> we're human, guys. It's late, you know? We record sometimes it's after like the kids in bed. But yo, we are human, guys. So we just wanted to share some of these stuff, some of these things with y'all. And we hope you enjoyed it. So. This is like totally out of context, but I just feel to say that embrace your flaws as a person because we're all different. So we thought we'd share our flaws with you guys. Not even that they're flaws, but everybody does something weird. Yeah, just so you know, that's what's up. That's ours. Yeah, T Squad. So if you guys want to see any videos, um, let us know what they are. Put your requests in the comments as always. I know there's a couple we haven't done yet that you guys are asking for, but we try to do most of them, if not vast majority of them. So. We love you guys. On to another day. We'll see y'all tomorrow. We out, T-Squad. Love you guys. Peace. Alright, T-Squad. So I know I said the vlog was over, but you have to see the sunset from the condo. Look at that lighting, guys.